I'm Jamie and welcome back. Today we're gonna check out the Soundgear SR500E from Ibanez. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you know there's actually only one thing that I really care about, and that is, well, what's it sound like? There's nowhere left to run. Do edit, do edit. Yeah, I think this thing sounds great for this genre. If I was to close my eyes, I'd think that I was listening to like a really mellowed out Warwick because maybe the strings on it are, are pretty old. But like this, the pick strike is coming through just fine. It's not too sharp. It's not too bright sounding. There's plenty of body. I mean, this is a very usable bass tone. The only thing I would want is probably for this tone to just be a little more rock sounding. You'll see why in a second when I pull in the rest of the track. So let me hit this with a little bit of processing and y'all can tell me over on my Discord server if you think this tone better fits the genre. All right, so we've got a very articulate bridge pickup, which is great, totally works on finger funk. And the onboard preamp, very usable in this case. I was able to use the mid-range knob to dial in just the amount of, of finger strike to just help these notes pop in the mix. Now the bridge pickup is a little bit thin, so I'm gonna fill it out by running it through the Boom Avenue from Sonic Cake. And you'll see why in a second when I pull in the rest of the track, but I wanna get some low mid saturation, kind of like as if I was running it through a really dirty compressor, kind of for that like Joe Dart Wolfpack sound. <laughs> Not a bad tone for this kind of music at all. I mean, the top end, sure, it's it's got more sparkle than, say, a P bass with flats, which is what I used to originally record this song. But still, I would use this tone on any stage, any studio, anywhere. All right, now let's see if we can't get this bass to sound absolutely perfect because what it's missing is some mojo. It just doesn't have any vibe going on. So I'm gonna hit it with some processing. We'll pull in the rest of the track. And by the way, if you wanna know what I did to make it sound like this, just go check out my deep dive video over on Patreon. So anyways, that's what the Soundgear SR500E sounds like. And if you wanna get one for yourself, please just click on 
any of those links in the description. Yes, I get a very small commission out of it. So thank you in advance for helping to support the channel. Right. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And thanks to my wonderful patrons over on Patreon. And in particular, these names right here. Y'all are the MVPs. Make sure you like and subscribe. Turn on those notifications and go buy some merch or support on Patreon. There's tons of cool perks and content waiting for you there. So thanks again for watching. Stay well. We'll see you next time.